Hi friends, it's Tracy with Bewitched Crafts and today I've got a haul video for you. It is the first week of January and Close to My Heart has a brand new catalog out and well, I indulged. Here is my January splurge. So I saved my box for us to open together. <laughs> I'm so excited to share with you all of the new items. There are a couple of stamp and thin cut sets that I can't wait to play with. And this box is like bulging at the seams. I'm going to have to open it carefully or I'm going to tear something. Here we go. Not quite. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Okay, I decided to pick up some of the newer inks this round, and so I've got Rosie and Periwinkle. These are magnetic. I love this. The ink actually is in the top, so that when it's closed and on the shelf, gravity is keeping the ink at the top of the ink pad, so that when you go to use it, not only is this super easy to open, unlike a lot of the old ones that we've had, but it's always juicy. All of the ink is at the top instead of the bottom. It's fantastic. Okay, I see a set of thin cuts first. I'm so happy to see this. This is the new window thin cut set. And there's a whole line of stamps that I'm excited to use this with. I'll show you in just a minute. First, we've got some paper. This is the Let's Party and this actually is one of the kits. This is the card making kit. So it comes with an exclusive stamp set, some Betty gems, uh, cards and envelopes. I'm excited about this one. I've actually got a birthday card that I need to make right away. I've got another copy of the catalog here. Okay, this is one of the stamps that I couldn't wait to get because it works with that window die. And you'll see it's part of a series. This is the waterfront scene. There's also an alpine scene, countryside, and neighborhood. I'm really excited to play with these. I have lots of ideas for them, and I believe there's at least one more thin cut in here specifically for these dies. Okay, winter wishes and snowflake kisses. I just couldn't resist. I love our sentiment stamps, especially in this size. You can put them everywhere. They fit on a tag. They fit on a card, they work on a scrapbook page. Winter wishes. The teddy bears, oh my gosh. Good night teddy, comes with matching thin cuts. You know, I love our silhouette ladies. These remind me of paper dolls, but they're always turned so that you don't see their faces or in one of my favorite cases, her nose is in a book. Um, this one has all kinds of like winter sport and she's got a winter coat on with a hat. This one is in a winter wonderland. It comes with the matching die cuts. And in that same vein, we've got a girl doing yoga in the in the moment stamp set. I love it. It's got a book. It's got her doing a yoga pose. She's got a yoga mat. She's got some good sentiments. Um, this one is like right up my street. I love this one. Again, comes with the matching thin cuts. Okay, here's the thin cuts postage frame. This one, I'm going back to those scene stamp sets. And I'm thinking this is going to work really well together. You can see an example of that in the new catalog. I've got this stamp of the month. This one is called Looking Forward. It also has the option to come with the matching coordinating dies. I love this one and a lot of folks have said to me, oh, I don't see how I would use it. But this stamp up here, the best is yet to come. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It works for so many things. Graduation, retirement, birthday. I've got lots of new options to show you with this set. So keep an eye on the weekly newsletter. Now this one, I, I don't know what it is about hummingbirds, but I just love them. So I thought this one would be super fun and I love the sentiment, spread your wings. So I picked up this one. Again, it has the coordinating thin cuts dies. This one is hummingbird wings. I know this is a splurge. I just keep going. It's like the bottomless box. I love it. This is snow mice. 
And these also have coordinating thin cut dies. These are so cute. I have seen so many in just a few days in January. So many adorable winter cards and I think it's going to work out really well with my winter wishes sentiment. Finally, I've got one more. It's Say It With Flowers. Again, coordinating thin cut dies. And now let's get into the paper. So I love to get the coordinating card stocks whenever I get a pattern paper. So not only did I get both of the patterns this month or from this catalog, but I got the mix-ins. So the mix-ins are designed to have the same color palette and blend in to kind of fill out both. So you can work with either of the uh, featured paper packs and they also have their own cardstock kit. So here's the cardstock and let's see, is this it? Yes, this is the mix-in for January, February. Oh my goodness, I splurged a little on this one, you guys. Gnomes, tell me the truth. Gnomes are everywhere. And Close to My Heart in particular seems to be coming out with a lot of like gnome, almost as much as our Silhouette Girls. And we had a gnome, uh, Gnomes for Winter promo I'm, I'm not really feeling the gnomes trend. However, I saw this pattern paper and quite a bit of it actually seemed to work. Let's take a look. For just winter themed cards, for the snow mice and the winter wishes. All right, so this one's got some snowmen. It does have the gnomes. I don't know if I'm gonna use those gnomes. But here are just some basic winter sport that works with our silhouette. Or maybe I should call her a paper doll. She's not really a silhouette. Look at this plaid. The colors are perfect for winter. I'm really excited to get crafting with these. And then this too. Perfect for winter. Doesn't really just say gnome. So very versatile. I'm going to work with it. I got the matching coordinating cardstock. And then here is Sweet Memories. I love these colors. This is the set that's featured on the cover of the catalog this month. And I got the coordinating card stock. I love how everything in the color palette is set up in the catalog. So really quick, let me just show you that if you were shopping through the catalog, you could take a look at a paper pack. Let me just flip through here. So here is Sweet Memories. And up here at the top, I'm hoping you can see this. I have a brand new camera that I'm testing out, but this is the color palette. So you know which card stocks you need, you know which inks you need. Everything is going to match perfectly because this color palette is all lined up for you. And that's the same for all of our um, paper packs. So I absolutely love that the collections come with that information. I've got a little bit more of the Let's Party I make a lot of birthday cards. Is that like the number one card you make too? And last but not least, the coordinating card stock to go with the Let's Party prints. So this was a real splurge for me, a big haul. I'm super excited to get crafting. I have some cards I wanna make, a couple of layouts. This time of year, I, I love to do a layout about end of year, so I have my pictures from December that I need to get printed and then it will be time to create one of my favorite layouts. I call it the good, the bad, and the ugly. Or in the case of the year I got divorced, the truly ugly. <laughs> it's a great way to recap my year and then get a kind of fresh start in January. I'm looking at some incredible digital art for January. Take a look at the, um, the calendar, the month's digital arts that Close to My Heart has just come out with, I think you'll be super impressed. So if you use a, a Cricut or another die cutting tool, these are super affordable options with stunning results. Okay, so I've got a lot of paper here to put away and some great stamp sets. I'm gonna go get inky and I'll see you soon.